Uh, but first, we have more major news. The Roman Catholic priests who abused Iowa children years ago cannot be prosecuted. That's despite a new law Governor Kim Reynolds signed, eliminating the statute of limitations for child sex abuse. Local 5's Lakin McGee has been following this story. And Lakin, you're breaking this down for our viewers tonight. Yeah, Samantha, so it's a complicated one, but there are three big parts to this. First, the statute of limitations was eliminated if you were sexually abused as a child, and the law only applies to those born in 1986 and later. Lastly, the law is different between criminal and civil cases. Under the old law, if you were a child and sexually abused, you had 15 years after you turn 18 to come forward before you were barred. So this new law says if you were younger than 18 years old and sexually abused, you can come forward at any time after you turn 18 and prosecution can proceed. Again, that's only if you were born after 1985. We find corroborating evidence and have enough to file. Prosecutors can still do that instead of saying, I have enough evidence to file this, but I'm barred by the statute of limitations and therefore I can't. Now, all of that was only if you were abused as a child. Now, the law differs in if you were abused as an adult. If you were 18 and older, the statute of limitations still applies. There's no change there, so you have 10 years to come forward in order to prosecute at the Iowa Coalition Against Sexual Assault. Staff there tell me they were surprised to see how little of support was done to support the survivors and victim advocacy that came forward in the Attorney General's report. One of the most important things is making sure that these victims and these people who come forward are connected to victim advocacy programs that can help them uh, get through this and provide support, counseling, and resources. Staff there say they've seen survivors that were children when they were sexually abused, and it took them 20 to 25 years to even come forward. Iowa Costa says teach your children at a young age about respecting themselves and others. Educate them on bodily anatomy. And even something feels wrong, it more than likely is wrong. Now remember, when I said there was a difference between criminal versus civil, well, the criminal statute of limitations was changed, not the civil. And Senator Janet Peterson tells me there are loopholes that favor the predator. The loophole protects school employees, counselors and therapists. They only, if you are abused by any of them, you only have five years from the time you leave the school or end your counseling or therapy. To um, say anything. To seek civil damages. Samantha, that means that at five years old, that was sexually abused by their teacher and only has until they're around 10 years old to even bring this to attention. Lakin, lots of shortcomings with the statute of limitations law, it seems. Yeah, and I know there is a possibility of a sexual abuse survivor watching this. So if you need someone to talk to, the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests is a national support group. That number is right there on your screen. And the Iowa Victim Service Call Center is open 24 seven and is also there on your screen. Or you can even text Iowa help to 20121. Lincoln, thank you. And if you missed those numbers, we have them on our website. We are Iowa.com.